Xavier Martinez versus Juan Carlos Burgos. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Uh, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who doesn't know, this fight between Martinez and Burgos is taking place in the undercard of Luis Neri versus Brandon Figueroa. This weekend, this Saturday on May 15, over at the Dignity Health Sports Park in California. Fight and the whole entire event. This fight between Martinez and Burgos will be shown live uh, on Showtime as well as the whole entire event starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Time to 7 p.m. Pacific Time. So tune into those times if you want to see this fight on Showtime. And to those who doesn't know who Xavier Martinez is, he's a 23-year-old fighter from Sacramento, California. Undefeated 16 and no 11 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. He's coming off a uh, somewhat controversial win against Claudio Moreto where he got knocked down twice. Um, well, it was it was competitive. It was, but uh, those knockdowns, uh, uh, <laughs> him getting knocked down in those fights. I mean, come on. But he's coming off that win against Claudio Moreto, and now here he is fighting. Juan Carlos Burgos. Actually, the original opponent was supposed to be Abraham Montoya. That was who he was originally supposed to fight, but for whatever reason, it's not happening anymore. And now, Martinez is fighting Burgos, who's 33 years old now from Mexico. 34 wins, 4 losses, 2 draws, 21 wins come by way of knockout TKO. He's come off a win over in Mexico uh, early last year. Uh, you probably remember him from losing to Devin Haney, and he lost to Hector Tanahara. He lost to Mikey Garcia. He lost to Hasegawa. Um, you know, he, he's he's a, he's a tough dude, Burgos. He's a tough guy, uh, but will he be tough enough to beat the younger Martinez? In, in my opinion, I don't think so. I, I think Burgos will go out there and, and make this fight a rough fight for Martinez, but he's not that strong and as slick as Marrero uh, that would catch Martinez. Martinez, I think he should take that Marrero fight as a learning experience and go out there and, and show what he learned uh, in this fight against Burgos. But in the end, I think Martinez still has enough skill set to beat Burgos. He has this, the boxing knowledge, the boxing IQ to be able to out-punch, out-counter, to counter, I should say, counter Burgos and pick him apart and win this fight by unanimous decision, seven rounds to two, three, eight rounds to two, in my opinion. But who knows? Maybe I'm overrating Martinez. I know he didn't look good against Marrero. Uh, but I still think Martinez has, you know, he, I, I think he learned from that fight. And I think he'll definitely show some improvements in this fight against Burgos. I mean, Burgos is a former top contender after all. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he can bring to the table and uh, test the younger Martinez. If Martinez fails to pass this fight, uh, then, yeah, he ain't going nowhere if he, he fails this fight, if he, if he doesn't win. Uh, so we'll see. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Again, tune in. May 15, you don't want to miss the main event. Ne Luis Neri versus Brandon Figueroa. It's going to be fireworks. And, uh, and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.